everybody, Steve here from Downbeat Guitar. I wanted to do a video for you guys today. Hopefully that can help you guys improve your soloing substantially in a really quick, really efficient way. So if you're like most people out there, you know, you have really, really limited time to practice. Um, and so if you're trying to learn modes and theory and scales and note names and what have you, you know, when you're like me and you don't even have time to cut the extra string off of your guitar here, you know, <laughs> so it's a challenge. Um, so this is something that I've found that I think can help you improve in a substantial way in a really quick amount of time. So all this exercise is, is trying to take the pentatonic scale that hopefully you already know and applying it in a way maybe you haven't done before. So this is focused on a specific note of the scale, which is called the third. If you don't know what that means, that's totally fine. I'll show you. It's really easy. So in the pentatonic scale, the first note is called the root note. The second note of the scale is called the third. So that's what we're focused on here. So there's going to be in this one shape, this first shape here of a pentatonic, there's going to be three different thirds. So the first one, the first one is here, the eighth fret, sixth string. The next time we find that same note is right here on the fifth fret of the third string. And the last place is here on the uh, eighth fret of the first string. So what we're going to do though is we're not actually going to play that fret. We're going to play one note below it and we're going to bend up to that third. Um, so here's how that sounds. Okay, an important step in this that we want to make sure we're doing is following the chord changes. Um, when we do A minor, we're playing this note to match the third there. When we go to D minor though, which is going to be our next chord in this sequence, we want to match the third of D minor. So here's D minor, here's the third, this note right here. We want to play a half step below it on the fifth fret, second string, and bend to match that pitch to go with this D minor chord. Then when the chord hits E minor, we want to do the same thing. We want to follow the chord progression. So here's the third for E minor. Here's a half step below it. We're going to bend and match it. So that's the idea. Guys, I hope that helped a little bit. Hopefully that's kind of, like I said, a really simple way to take something you already know and apply it in a new way and get some really cool sounds. Hey, if this was helpful to you guys, please consider subscribing and I hope to see you guys soon. Thanks.